All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday night, so I am straight from work, straight into the office because we got patch notes to go over. I want to get the, I want to get this out to you as soon as possible, given that everyone and their dog has already covered the patch notes for what's coming out tomorrow in Internal Evolution. Tomorrow being October nineteenth. Really, is it really almost November? That is sad. I just came off of a sixteen-day work week, sixteen-day work cycle. It sucked. So I'm going on for wings tonight. Some drinks. It's gonna be a good time. I uh, live in Saskatchewan if anyone wants to join me. All right, so uh, as we do, or as I do, uh, I'm going to go over the patch notes with you guys and girls and girl. <laughs> you guys and girl. Uh, I think there's actually a few of you. You're, you, you rare specimens, you. Keep on watching. I appreciate you. We're going to go over the patch notes. I'm going to give you my thoughts. It's going to be really brief because this is a mid-cycle patch notes. And this is also uh, during the collab event when they basically prepped everything for the collab event and then went on holidays and now it's the stuff's just popping off like this update probably going to take one minute to download on your phone tomorrow so let's go straight over to it and let's read it okay this is the official facebook page for eternal evolution this is where they like to release the majority of their news and i like the format here i like how it's nice and big on the screen you can read it along with me and i can highlight stuff can't do that in the game so i like to do it here so blah 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 donkey punch blah 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 give me 500 diamonds okay yes that is just the blurb the opening blurb now now we need to savor this because this is going to go real quick version update details so a new wishlist recruitment event, the Divine Blessing, is open on some servers, meaning servers after week three. After week three, not before, not during, but after. During the event, uh, I was going to try to make a holy hand grenade joke there, but I, I thought I already prolonged that enough. During the event, you have a chance to recruit an SSS hero, Barog, Dominic, Teresh, and then Paluno, Muka, and Murphy Row in limited recruitment. Now, I was a little bit wrong on this. If you just saw the video I put out last night, my leaks had informed me that it was going to be Dominic, Barog, and Miranda. So I was two out of three. Ain't bad, right? We all wanted Sif, uh, but they broke the cadence. So we're getting Dominic. I actually don't mind because I still need four copies of Dom to get him maxed. So I'm hoping I can maybe get four from this event. I got to pull 180 tickets to guarantee four because he's also in the giant tower. But uh, Teresh, Teresh, well, it's only been six weeks since we got his banner last. So this is a, the, one of the quickest turnarounds I've seen. Uh, they really want you to have Teresh for some reason. I don't know why they didn't put in a Rebecca or Miranda who we're going to be going almost three months between their banners. But... Oh, well, Teresh it is. Barog's right on time. Right on time for his cadence. Dominic is really quick as well, as well as Teresh. But uh, Paluno, Muka, Murphy Row. Really, Muka's the only one really that's useful out of there. But then Muka gets replaced very quickly by Sif, who's going to be coming on November 2nd now. So this is a wishlist banner. For those of you that have never experienced a wishlist banner, you get to pick one of these Triple S heroes. There are increased rates every 30 pulls. An increase rate to get one of these triple s heroes you set the one you want that is your wish list hero if you do not pull him on the 30th pull or anywhere in between if you don't pull him there and you pull him on the 60th you get a copy for free basically a free pity at 60 and then the pity resets if you were to say pull him on your 20th pull his pity resets and goes back to zero and then you keep going now, this is a, a, probably one of the best banners in the game, one of the best catch-up mechanics, mechanics they have. Uh, they come at a regular four-week interval now, so we can save up for them because, like I said, they have increased rates of getting triple S every 30 pulls. So you can get a lot of uh, triple S heroes. Now, if you were going for Dominic, you had him set as your wish list, and you pulled Teresh on the 30th pull, the pity stays the same, so then you would get Dominic on your 60th pull. Very, very good banner. Um, they should probably bring back the, um, the advanced one as well, because that one was also nice for getting legacy heroes that we're never going to use, but it still feels good to have them, right? Like, that's how I got my Guan Poo up there, even though I never really used them. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, a return to Giant Tower event will also open on some servers, that being after week three, if you're a new player. The main rewards of this event are Dominic copies. So if you don't know how, how a Giant Tower works, you get a, you pull... 80 tickets, 80 limited tickets, and it and it has to be, 
it has to be we're gonna go in the game right here it has to be on that banner because this was the same two weeks ago for the Ares banner the limited tickets that you pull in this banner do not count do not any limited tickets you see I have 112 any limited tickets you pull on this banner do not count towards giant tower only the supplementary banner which will be Dominic or it'll be yellow it's the wish list so you have to pull on the wish list banner if you want to also go for that free copy of Dominic in the giant tower now that first free copy comes after 80 limited tickets pulled and then you get another one at after another hundred is pulled so if you have 180 lying around you're going to guarantee two Dom from the giant tower and then you're going to guarantee some from the uh, wish list banner itself okay so that's the explanation on how that all works very very cool but I, I have to emphasize that you will not get credit for the giant tower from the collab recruitment banner a new quantum mimic machine will open on some servers again this is after server three or after week three the remain rewards are rebecca i need her fifth element i need that too a lot of people are going to say oh poo poo on fifth element but uh what people tend to forget we'll, we'll go show you right now is that there are stat bonuses for getting um, all of a certain trifecta or whatever triumvirate of prototypes so let's go find let's find fifth element there it is right there so i on my main account my main account not this account have solar flare maxed i have thorn of glory almost maxed but i only have one copy of fifth element now you see for every th if you get all of them at two stars you get a 1.7% attack boost. And then if you get them all, and then you keep getting more attack boosts as you go. So it is beneficial for me to get this, even though I probably won't use it because it is a free attack and defense boost. Oh, and there's HP in there as well. Some of these don't have attack. It's basically free stats to my entire account. So uh, some people are going to be like, oh, fifth element sucks. We don't use it anywhere. Well, it, it has some niche uses, but... For me, I'm going for the stats and uh, a Rebecca. Now, the tokens that you get to spend in the Quantum Mim Mimic machine carry over. The last two Quantum Mim Mimic machines, I've had every every prototype and every hero in there maxed, so I have been carrying it over. I'm going to have about 55, 60 spins tomorrow to go for these. And that's what you should do. If it's if it's a quantum mimic that you don't need the characters or you don't or you, they're not important to you, skip it. Just hoard all of that material. And then when something like this comes, where Rebecca, awesome, the best hunter in the game, I'm all in. I'm gonna go for it. And then if I get the Rebecca copy, if I get the prototype, then I'm gonna spend five bucks and I'm gonna double it. And I'm gonna basically for five bucks get red runes, uh, everything, all the goodies, the goodies. I want all the goodies. So that is how Quantum Mimic Machine works. That is a bi-weekly event that comes every second week. And that is the offsetting event to uh, Details Gathering Gamuzo's Bell. So uh, Heroes Rally, right on time. I think my main account, I have enough advanced to pull. But on my free-to-play account, nope, I'm going to have to wait. Usually my free-to-play account, I can maybe do it once every th six weeks. But my free-to-play account seems to be able to do it every two weeks. I'm not, I'm not sure how that happened. I'm not sure how that happened, but... Um, or maybe it's every four weeks. I don't know. But yeah, I can pull more. I can pull more is the point. Summon Arena is coming back. It's on time. It, even though they kind of screwed it up and they pushed it back that two weeks way back when. Um, why do I feel like the music's going to be loud? I don't think it will be though. Uh, Quant or Summon Arena is back. That's cool. So the buffed heroes are Arcadia, Sif. And since it starts on October 21st, that is what? Saturday? Today's the 18th, so 19th, 20th. Yeah, that's Saturday. So why, why this mysterious new hero, why it's mysteriously new is since it starts on the 21st, by the time you reach, you know, so it launches, but then you don't actually get to play your first match until like, what, three days, four days after after this date. So this new hero is going to be the, the new energy hero that comes in next week right so next week so the the buffs will be arcadia sif and mysterious new energy hero it's not one of the collab heroes it's not going to be a surprise this is this is they've done this trick before it's due to the timing they want it to be the next new hero that they release and as such for now it's just a mysterious new hero 
and that's going to be what 14 days yeah that's a two-week event really weird starts on a saturday ends on a saturday doesn't wait does it end on saturday no no it's 14 days it, it ends on a thursday so it just there's like the preamble login check in lock in blah 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 and that's really it that's really it for the content so we're basically getting a wish list banner a giant tower rebecca in quantum mimic and that that's it that's all we're done we are done so now we get some other stuff so this is just you know ui changes so optimize the formation function okay what i really want if you guys are hey, Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What I want is all my formations. I want to be able to hit an up and down arrow and move them. Because right now you got to delete it. You got to basically de delete them all and sort them how you want. So devs, I want a up arrow and a down arrow on every formation. Okay, that's what I want. This, I don't care. It's easy enough to save. I don't need a easier way to save, you know, a, a dummy proof way to save it. Uh, added descriptions that the time travel heroes cannot be generated in Commander Purification. Why? Because they're probably going to come out with their own commander for time travelers, right? Right. Yeah. So they don't, you know, they don't want them being outside of teams, even though you can. I don't know. That's my guess. Added a recommend position system. Okay. Okay. So when you set your team on the field. It's going to automatically probably slot them once you bring them in into their preferred position, which it's going to be tanks up front, probably damage dealers in the back, like range damage dealers in the back, melee damage dealers, I don't know, up front in the middle, who knows. You're going to just resort it to the to benefit whatever your commander positions are. So re this, I okay, it feels like a waste of time to me. But maybe there's five people out there that that will benefit. And now I feel like the music is quiet. Bug fixes. Okay, there's three, three, three bug fixes. Remember that last week there was zero bug fixes because they were still on holidays. Right? I think. Fix the issue that the glowing avatar was displayed when the talent of the SP was not at full level. Okay, Caraxia. No one cares. But I know I don't have her exclusive max though, but I do have her last talent. So I'm assuming if you don't actually activate that talent at the end after you get her to Immortal 1, it's not going to give you the glowy thing, which is very, very uh, not really a... That's, that's a first world problem, in my opinion. That's a 1% that's a problem, actually, in my opinion. Fix the issue that part of the mission points cannot be accumulated when challenging the boss of Calamity who had been killed in the simulation battle. Fix the issue that part of the missing points cannot be accumulated in the simulation. Sure. Never noticed that. It's in the simulation, so it doesn't matter. Fix the issue that Daniel's normal special effects, his normal special effects, were bound to the wrong coordinates. What does that mean? Daniel's special effects... We're bound to the wrong coordinates. Don't know. Don't care. And that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for this video. This is going to be a quick one. Well, I'm 13 minutes. I still rambled enough. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the patch notes. The patch goes live tonight. You're getting 500 diamonds. There's a wishlist banner. Barag, Teresh, and Dominic. Dominic Giant Tower. Keep in mind, limited tickets spent in the collab banner do not contribute towards the Giant Towers. So do not mistake that. Otherwise, you'll get nothing. And I guess the reason why they're doing that is because they want the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, Mirror of Reformation, the Soul Mirror Mimic thing. They want those two pulls to be separate, so you won't have to pull on that one. And they want you to pull on the other one, because they want you to spend money on packs to buy some limited tickets. So, don't do it. Stay strong. Uh, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. What do I want to do with the word of the day? What do I got up on my desk here? What do I got? What do we got? What do we got? Zoodles! Uh, I can't show you that's family heirloom. It's like a 30 year old can of zoodles, but uh, the reason why it's a family heirloom actually You know, I'm gonna show you this is gonna be a little behind the scenes thing. I gotta get my little Star Wars miniatures off of there Okay, so check this out. Check this out here. We got to go to the big the, the big one the big one Okay, so the, so the word of the day is zoodles and here is why I wonder if I get demonetized for this So this thing is ancient 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 ancient, okay? 
But the reason why this was discontinued in my old man. Oh my god, that feels like cement in there. Oh, that's horrid. My old man went out and grabbed this as soon as he could because this is this might be a Canadian thing. I don't know if you have zoodles in the States. But look at the tree. Look at the tree. Does that tree look kind of weird to you? You see that? You see that? Let's see if I can... Yeah, you get the picture. So that's why that's a family heirloom. Yeah, my family's weird. But we're Canadians and we're weird. So... <laughs> tell me, say zoodles, and tell me what you saw in the tree. <laughs> Oh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, cheers, peace. Bye-bye.